Breaking right now at 4 o'clock, the search is on for a convicted murderer who escaped from a Chester County prison. Hundreds of officers are working right now to find 34-year-old Danilo Cavalcante. He was last seen this morning on Wawasset Road in Pocopson Township, putting communities in that area on high alert. It is Thursday afternoon. I'm Brian Taft. And I'm Shari Williams in for Sarah. The big story on Action News is the extensive search happening right now in Chester County. It was just last week that Cavacante was sentenced to life in prison for the murder of his former girlfriend. Now authorities are doing everything they can to get him back behind bars. Action News reporter John Paul live in Bacopson Township now. And John, we understand things have gotten rather active behind you in the last few minutes. Correct. Yeah, Brian, Shari. So just in the last maybe five minutes, I saw three heavily armed law enforcement members. I mean, I'm talking full combat gear walking over this hill. They went down that way. We also see a drone. There have been two helicopters that have come over. To give you an idea where I am, I'm about a quarter mile from the prison where this escape happened uh, this morning. In fact, I'm on Wawaset Road. That was the last place that he was seen walking down this very road at around 940 this morning. We've seen some state troopers going over that hill. We really can't see much over that hill. We've just seen a lot of, a lot of law enforcement head over that way. Now, they're looking for a man they describe as a ruthless killer. He was sentenced to life in prison without parole for stabbing his girlfriend 38 times in front of his children. That happened in 2001. He was uh, waiting to be transferred to a state facility after being convicted just last week. That's when he escaped. The DA saying this man has nothing to lose. It's Danello Cavalcante. He escaped from the Chester County Prison around 9 o'clock this morning. The 34-year-old is 5 feet tall, 120 pounds, shaggy black curly hair, brown eyes. Uh, when he escaped, he was wearing that T-shirt, gray shorts, and white sneakers. And as I mentioned, there was a confirmed sighting on the road that I'm standing on around 940 this morning. We're only about a quarter mile from the prison. Now, the warden would not go into any details about how this man escaped. But they are extremely concerned about what he might be capable of. So they've got hundreds of law enforcement out. They've got drones. They've got dogs out. Multiple helicopters searching this area of Chester County right now. The district attorney held a news conference with state police just a short time ago. Here's some of what they said. His depravity knows no bounds. I mean, this is someone who has nothing to lose, as you indicated. So I don't know what he's capable of doing. If he's already engaged in a murder in broad daylight, daylight in front of her two children, there's no um, stopping him from doing anything more egregious. Once we noticed we had an issue with an inmate not being there, we immediately followed our protocols, locked down the prison, did what we call a special count to confirm there was only one person missing. Uh, we further went out, we did lockdowns to schools, the Procopsin home, put out reverse 911s to the immediate area, and just waited for assistance to come. It's a scary thing, but like I said, I don't think he's going to hang around nearby. I think he's going to get away as far as possible. Now that was a neighbor and that is a big concern because we know that uh, Cavalcante has family in Phoenixville. He also has the uh, victim's family in Phoenixville as well. We know that Phoenixville Public Schools, they went ahead and put the kids on restricted movement today because they were so concerned that this man may be trying to get to the Phoenixville area. Uh, the search, though, for this killer continues. Now we're seeing some officers who are just in that field coming out this way that is heading uh, toward the prison itself. Looks like a state trooper there. Uh, three more coming out this way. So doesn't look like they found anything, at least over in this area. But listen, we're, uh, we're keeping an eye on everything. We've been in contact with law enforcement sources. If we get any information, we will bring that to you. But they're saying this is a very uh, serious situation. They're asking people to stay inside because they don't know exactly what this man is capable of. Again, more officers going by right now. For now, we are live in Compton Township. John Paul, Channel 6 Action News. Brian, Shari. Yeah, an active scene. Okay, we'll stay on top of it. John, thanks.